For nearly four months, one of the suspects accused of killing four people here inside this home on Maple Avenue was on the run. Monday, he turned himself into police and I spoke with family members of the victims and they tell me they never thought this day would come. My sister come banging on my door. I hadn't heard the news yet. And she said, sis, they got him and she had her held down and just cried in my arms. Yolanda Lee, the sister of Giorgio Lee, tells me it's been a rough couple of months since the loss of her brother. But she finally has a sense of peace after the second suspect wanted in connection of his death is now behind bars. The big sigh of a little bit of peace. The chaos stemming from Antoine Gore being on the run after a month long search. Gore is believed to be connected to a quadruple shooting that left four dead on Maple Avenue back in June. Police say Gore turned himself into police Monday, but Yolanda and her older sister Shakora Lee tells me Gore being on the run was a cowardly act. That move right there shows me what type of person we're really dealing with. Yeah, definitely. That, that shows me what, what we're dealing with. This is a monster. Court documents do not provide details about a potential motive. But for the son of Ashley Merricks, one of the victims shot and killed, he tells me he's thankful Gore turned himself in. Although it remains a hard pill to swallow that his mother's life was cut short. I don't know how to feel. I just feel like right now I tell everybody I feel lost. Because how do you go on without you need your mom? Smith describes his mother as a protector and his best friend. And for the Lee family, they tell me their brother was a family man, hard worker, and caring person. This is something that I just don't want to see nobody um, go through. But both sides, we've lost. We've took People, a major yeah. loss. As both families continue to deal with the loss of their loved ones, Gore turning himself in and his relative, Raymond Gore, who was arrested back in August, now gives the family a bit of closure. But they tell me they want justice in court. I'm going to say this. Don't let them get away again. Antoine Gore attorney review hearing is scheduled for October 14th and Raymond Gore preliminary hearing is scheduled for February 1st. In Portsmouth, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.